Kia ora everyone, my name's Catherine Hall, I'm the Assistant Dean of Medical Admissions at Otago University Medical School and you're interested in medicine, I'm assuming, because you're watching this video. So I'm here to tell you what is it like to be a medical student and come to Otago University. Well, if you choose to come here and you get in, you will discover that the medical course is an incredible journey through challenges and experiences that you will not even know you are going to have at this point. But I can give you an outline about what it's going to be like for you and you can think about it and think, is this for me? And if it is, put your application in when it, the time comes. So. What do you do when you come to medical school? Well, first of all, if you're coming from school, usually you come to medical school via health sciences first year. So that's a really big, very pressured year where you get to do lots of science stuff. And at the end of that, some of you will get into medicine. Once you're in medicine, the pressure is a little bit less actually because you're here. We're not going to throw you out unless you do something very bad, very naughty, or you don't get the marks. So most of you do get through. It's not to say it's a cruise, it is certainly not that. You work jolly hard, but you have an awesome time. You learn so much about what it means to be a person, what it means to be a doctor, and what it means to be a patient. You will have a ball. So, first two years, you're in the university. You're doing what's called the Early Learning and Medicine course, and that involves things like anatomy, biochemistry, a little bit pathology, physiology, those sorts of things, plus a course called Early Professional Education. Now this one is really important because I tutor in it, I know quite a bit about it, um, and it's a really cool course which teaches you about how to become a doctor because this is training you for a career which is a profession. So there is a whole vast range of things you've got to learn about how to be a doctor. After third year, you have the options of doing a research year, uh, you can also do a double degree in arts or you can do a double degree in science if you're that way inclined and then come back into med school in year four. Years four, five and six are the clinical years. So these are the years where you are attached to medical teams and work with medical teams and learn on the job rather like a, an apprenticeship. At the same time though, you have to be responsible for a lot of learning. Uh, you have to do your own book work and study work um, and be very self-directional. So the people who succeed in medicine are self-disciplined and are able to do that self-directional work. After six year, you then graduate and then become a first year health surgeon and then a second year health surgeon. And from that point on, you can then choose your specialisations. So it's a long course because if you decide that you are going to specialise, and almost everyone does, and general practice is a specialisation in its own right, most people are knocking on 30 before they've actually finished all the training they need to do. So it's not a lightweight commitment. However, it's a fascinating one, and if you choose to do it, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, kia ora, my name's Sean. I'm a sixth year medical student this year at the University of Otago. Um, I chose to study medicine at Otago because, uh, well, for a couple of reasons actually. It's really close to home for me, so I live in Tiana. Um, I really like Dunedin and the fact that it's uh, such a bustling community and it's really vibrant um, and the med medicine course itself as well is is um, really good I've really enjoyed it so far um, it's full of I mean there's such a variety of things that you get to do um, so obviously you start with um, with health sciences um, first year so that's what I did and then I went through from health sciences first year to to study medicine and once you're in medicine, you basically have a bunch of different subjects which you need to study at the same time. Um, so things like pharmacology, which is the study of um, and drugs and how they work, um, and medications and things like that. Um, things like anatomy and the study of um, how the body is made up. And then physiology, how the body works, and um, things like pathology and diseases and things that can go wrong with the body, if that makes sense. And the variety for me is something that keeps me active all the time and I really enjoy that. 
Um, and then once you hit fourth year, you do your clinical years, so you're based in the hospital. And I really enjoy the fact that you get to see such a variety of different patients and um, talk to so many different people from all over the country and all over the world.